spheroids and organoids are increasingly being used as models for studying diseases and developing treatments. These 3D cell cultures offer more realistic representations of in vivo conditions than traditional 2D cell cultures, making them ideal for drug testing and personalized medicine. Various techniques have been developed to create these structures, such as spontaneous or forced cell aggregation, air-liquid interface conditions, low cell attachment supports, magnetic levitation, and scaffold-based technologies. The choice of technique depends on the type of tissue, presence or absence of disease, and desired application. Cancer spheroids and organoids have several advantages over traditional 2D cell culture models, but there are still many challenges and unanswered questions in this area. This article was authored by Sinai El-Harain, Bakrazidi, Nadia El-Harain, and others.